Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute, I know, but it's really great to be back. And what better way to come back than with a brand new mock? So as you guys know, uh, this, you know January, January 1st uh, was a big LEGO release day. And with those uh, releases came this set, which is the Chinese New Year Family Reunion set. And I was really blown away by the set. It is so pretty. The aesthetic was just so beautiful. I love the color combination. And I was like, wow, I really want to incorporate this into my city. However, I didn't like that it was so, you know, like short, I guess, in height, because it wouldn't fit in with the other modulars. I wanted something that was a bit taller and, you know, blended in better with the city. And then I thought to myself, wow, what if I found a way to combine the family reunion set with my modular noodle shop, which is this one you see right here. So I wanted to find a way to create kind of like a combo of both of these builds and just create sort of like, I guess you could say like a Chinatown section district for the city. And like in my mind, it was like really busy with a bunch of lights everywhere and just like just a bunch of details. So I started doing some sketches, uh, here are some of them, um, just to get an idea of what the mock could possibly look like. And then I just started building and it was kind of like a bunch of trial and error over the course of a few weeks. Uh, but I finally got it down to a place where I can firmly say that it is almost like 99% finished, I guess. Uh, and I'm just really, really happy to share it with you all. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at this mock. And this is it, guys. The result of the combination of both of those sets slash builds, I guess. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I really wanted to capture that, you know, hustle and bustle Chinatown look. And I feel like it comes across really really well and i was really set on uh maintaining most of uh the little builds and details that were in the original set so we still have sort of you know the open eating area for the noodle shop as well as the sign the stalls that came uh with the family reunion set the little you know food cart here some of the details in the window the sign uh and most importantly the string lights that i really you know i feel like they really help fill out the space and make it look really really busy so what i thought we would do is first go over some of the exterior details and techniques and then we take a look at it floor by floor because it is completely modular. So starting off with this little like open area down here, I really wanted uh, to make sure that there was space for the stalls, not just have them on the sidewalk and, you know, just create a, um, an open space for those. Also to place minifigures, you know, to make the, you know, the surrounding area feel a little bit more busy and uh, better yet, hang up these string lights just, you know, over the, the little plaza area, I feel like adds a really, really nice amount of detail. So um, let me just turn it over so you guys can get a, a very clear look at the facade. Um, I'm really happy with how these windows turned out. I feel like uh, the technique for those is really, really interesting. I was worried originally when I was, uh, you know, designing it, uh, there were a lot of points where I wasn't able to get the sort of like fence piece plate, fence piece plate look. It just, uh, there was a point where I was creating uh, the next level where I had like, I don't know, maybe like a brick and a half spacing between one one uh, fence piece and the other, and it was just looking off, but uh, I figured it out and it turned out really great. And as you can see, there's like a seam there uh, where the third floor separates from the second floor. And I just really like the look of it on this side. It's really, really nice. Uh, I also wanted to make sure that, you know, I was keeping a clean look over all sides. So you can see the back is also, is also pretty clean. Um, I really like uh, the little vent piece that I, I reused from the original set. And as you can see, there's an entry point uh, to the noodle shop here and as well as to the kitchen in the back of the um, Chinese restaurant. Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really cool. Then obviously uh, this side, there isn't much you can do with it. Uh, it's the one that it's the least pretty one, but I still feel like uh, the colors are really well balanced. So I'm not too mad about it. And then of course we have sort of like the front facing facade where you can see uh, clearly kind of like the three sections of the build. So you have like the Chinese restaurant, the little skinny building with the alleyway in blue, and then the noodle shop. And I'm just really, really pleased uh, with how this looks. So I'm gonna give you uh, a sort of like an overview of the outside now up close in the different levels because there are some things to take a look at before we jump into the inside. So the first area we're going to be taking a look at is the actual family reunion. Now, the original set had a much bigger table and it was on the inside. However, given the tight space that turning this into a modular created, I thought it would be best placed up, up top on the roof. And I did shrink the table down 
uh, from an 8x8 uh, circle plate to a 6x6 one. Uh, and it doesn't have six seats anymore, it's only four, but I feel like it comes across really, really well. You can still see it's a very full, very busy table. Uh, I also added uh, the little firework feature right here, and I feel like it looks just, just right, you know? Uh, the, just the, the right amount of detail. Not too much, not too little. It captures the essence of the original set, which is what I wanted, and I'm just really, really pleased with it. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next section. Now, this next section is probably one of my personal favorites. It was actually the first thing uh, that I built for this mock. So I think to better showcase it, it would be best if I remove it and just give you kind of like a 360 look at it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this is a little tranquil garden that I really wanted to include in one of the rooftops. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a really big plants guy. So any chance that I get uh, to include plants somewhere in the build is a win for me. Uh, but I'm just really happy with the natural elements that I was able to create here. Um, we have a stone lantern, which obviously is not a natural element, but uh, I've, I, I imagine that this would be sort of a little habitat for this little chameleon that we have right here. And then uh, right here in the background, there's like a little sort of like pond with a bit of a rushing waterfall. And then uh, the build for these bamboo trees. I'm just so, so happy. And obviously, uh, I really wanted to include a place for mini ticks to relax. So there's a little chair with a little table for, you know, sipping tea and just relaxing outside. I feel like it's a really, really nice section of the build. And I'm just really happy uh, with how it came out. But yeah, why don't we take a look uh, at some of the other sections of the build? All right. And for the final kind of like outer section, I know we've already taken a bit of an overall look at it, uh, but I really just wanted to go over uh, the plaza and just emphasize the details that have been like you know uh you know added to it and you know give it a bit of story um so we have again the flower stall from the original uh family reunion but behind it i don't know if you can really tell in the camera but uh it's the fish tank uh that that uh came with the set as well it's like you know the double-sided fish tank that you can see from the outside and the inside i know it's kind of counterproductive to have it hidden behind the stall but there was really no other uh way that i could fit it in because if I moved it too much to the side, it would take up too much of the alleyway. So, you know, compromises, I guess. And then uh, speaking about the peach stall, I added uh, this guy right here and he's eating a little peach, which is just like one of those uh, round tile corner pieces attached to a leaf to make it look like he's eaten half of it already. And I'm just really happy with how this looks just like overall, you know, filled with people, you know, these guys, uh, this guy right here is meeting this girl up for a date. That's why he has some flowers, and I feel like that's really cute for storytelling. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice to see the plaza filled out with people and just, you know, have different activities happening all around. Uh, we also have, you know, the noodle shop in function. You can see the chef in there serving up some noodles to the little customer right here. Um, just really, really happy with it overall. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the interiors. Uh, for the build All right, so I thought we would start off with the ground floor because it was it's what makes most sense uh, So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the noodle shop section first So just to explain to get into the noodle shop you would basically go through the alleyway and then in uh, Through a little door that we have in the back that I showed you earlier So that's how you get into the noodle shop and then the interior is very small very simple I think you can get a good look at it from the front if the minifigure weren't covering all the detail, but there really isn't much to it. It's a little dark and kind of difficult to film, but you can see there's a little kitchen area with a pan, a sink, a little loaf of bread, some stairs heading down to the you know noodle shop level with some nice tiling uh, for the floor there, as well as a little shelf with some you know utensils and maybe some flour, and then uh, a little vent for ventilation there. So it's a very simple interior, but very effective. It has most of the details that, you know, you would see in in a shop like that. And now moving on to the restaurant portion, uh, we have sort of like the main lobby area. Um, if I can get it to focus. Um, but yeah, you can see there's like a reception desk, uh, you know, for reservations and such. The little rug from the set is there as well with a really nice uh, tiling for the, you know, hall that you walk into in the beginning. Um, there are stairs using the same design as the one from the set as well as the painting there uh, the little bonsai tree and then i don't know if you can tell but back there is a little window uh where the kitchen can pass uh food through you can actually see some food peeking uh right through there and then we have one of our servers 
uh, taking food up to the customers in the second floor. And then uh, finally the kitchen. The kitchen uses the same build uh, that came with the set for the stove. I've added a few more details like, you know, some oil and some spices on the side as well as a sink. And then uh, I also wanted to keep uh, the pecking duck because I thought that that was brilliant with the little table build as well as the little rack uh, for utensils. And then to access the kitchen, since there was no way to get it uh, to be accessible through the lobby, uh, you have uh, the back door that I showed earlier with a little container for uh, trash. Uh, but yeah, that is kind of like what the first floor interior looks like. I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, let's move on to the second floor. All right, so moving on up to the second floor, which is our main dining area. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, you would come up from the first floor right through here and then up to this sort of like lobby area with a little plant and then uh, the stairs to the next level, which have uh, this really nice detail of a dragon in the railing. And then here you can see sort of the main dining section with uh, two tables. They are completely set. They actually have food on them, little lamps, chopsticks, uh, this little plant in the corner and some, you know, wall decorations just to, you know, liven up the place a little. And then through here, we have a tiny hallway with a rug that leads over to this section, which is our karaoke section. Uh, it's got two chairs and a little table, you know, for drinking tea while we're, you know, rocking out with the karaoke there and a little plant just to make it look a little bit more lively. But yeah, this is sort of like the main dining slash entertainment area. Also, I was able to keep uh, the little um, drapes from the original set, which I'm really, really happy with. And yeah, that's kind of it for this floor. So let's move on to the third and final floor. And then for the third and final floor, guys, which houses the rest of the dining area, you can see you come up through here and there is a little table right up front with some food already set in it. Then we have this sort of like little hallway uh, with another little table. And then here in the corner, tucked away, we have the tiniest bathroom that I could fit. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open the door so I can show it to you through there. Uh, you can see it has a sink, uh, a toilet, and uh, there should be, yeah, you can kind of tell there's a mirror right there. It's just a round tile, if I can get it to focus. Uh, but yeah, it was the tiniest space that I could cram the bathroom into, and I really wanted to keep it because it was a really nice feature that they included in the original set. And then another challenge for this particular level was I needed to create an access point uh, to the little rooftop terrace that I showed you previously. And I didn't want it to be just a plain door because I thought that that would look off next to you know these two lattice windows so i went ahead and did my very first attempt at a brick built door and i feel like it came out really well um you can see uh the access uh to the garden there and it works perfectly and then from the outside you can see that it just goes so seamlessly with everything else and i'm really really happy uh with that overall look and then right here just to finish off we have a little ladder uh, that leads up to the terrace that I showed you guys previously. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just go ahead, give uh, the entire mock an overall final look, and that'll be it. So here it is, just one final overall look at the entire mock put together. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. I know I've said that before, but I'm just, I really am. I feel like the amount of detail is just right, and I was able to include like all of the features from both of the builds that I really wanted to keep. Uh, and it just is really, really cohesive. You know, it has stairs all the way to the top and access points everywhere it needs to have them. I was able to salvage the bathroom, which I was really worried because there's just so little space. Um, but it, it worked, it worked out and I'm just so, so happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, taking a look at it. I know it's kind of like really weird filming the interior of the modular, especially like in this lighting and, you know, having all the cameras fit in and focus, but uh, I think you got a pretty good idea of what it looks like on the inside, and I hope you enjoyed it. So that is it for the up-close look, guys. All right, and that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the up-close look at this mock and that you enjoyed the mock itself. I'm really, really excited uh, to find a place for it in the city. I'm still working on my city placement. Uh, I was doing another tabletop city again, like here in the same room, but there's just not enough space, guys. So I'm trying to figure out a solution for that but I'm very, very excited to incorporate this into it. I feel like it's gonna look really, really good. 
I did take a picture of it uh, with the Spring Lantern Festival from 2021 and it looks so good. Here it is. I feel like they fit in together really, really well. And now I kind of want to put, put them both together in the city and create sort of like a really nice uh, display area for them. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's really great to be back. I'm really looking forward to sharing more things with you guys in the future. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.